Okay, everyone. In this video, I would like to share to make um, curve wall bookcase in SketchUp. Okay, first of all, you have to make um two point arc. Anyway, you have to make um two point arc for the first. You can select this um, tools in SketchUp. Okay, and then you can position it on origin, and you can drag to the right side. It's round three thousand and. 400 millimeter right and you can see the curve it's um look it it's look um segmented right here you have to make it more smooth with um type um 100 s and press enter right so you can see the different between before and after and then um, you can um, adjust the depth of the curve of this two point arc line you can maybe you can set the bulge is around 1000 millimeter only okay, something like this okay and that, and then you have to make uh, offset offset to the outside area right here you can offset this it's around 400 millimeter only Okay, and after that you have to complete the pattern with the line something like this you have to complete it and okay and don't forget to duplicate it don't forget to duplicate with a move and press control in above of the shape anyway then you have to push it up around 750 millimeter only Okay, and after that, you can um, make it group. Anyway, you can make it group, and don't forget to duplicate it again. Don't forget to duplicate it again in this area. Okay, and then you can set the height of the of the cabinet. You can set the height of the cabinet. It's around three thousand millimeter, right? And you can see the uh, elevation you can move it up until it equal with the right side line right here and you can delete unnecessary line like this okay and then you can uh, make a um, thickness of this self with a push and just push it down it's around 50 millimeter right anyway or you can make more thick than before with um 50 millimeter more and you have to make it group again and you can uh, duplicate it make it component for the first you have to make it component for the first and then you have to move and just press control and just um position it on the end of the destination and then press four and slash and just center and then you can make it make unique so because uh, and then you have to erase it okay because uh, we would like to make it make the three self to be the same type anyway okay you can um, push it up to make it um, thin then before you can push it around 50 millimeter more okay and then you have to uh, okay and then you have to make a um, rectangle again you have to make a rectangle to close the object with this side anyway then you have to push to the front around 50 millimeter also or 10 millimeter um 100 millimeter right and just make it group and just make it component just create it and then you have to move it to the left side and then you can flip it along with a red axis <laughs> then um, you have to move and just position it on the 
appropriate position okay you can see the different okay um, in this case you have to make a additional wall anyway you have to make a additional wall with only um, select this single two point arc and just edit copy and then just paste in place anyway then you have to um, offset it offside to make a wall thickness anyway. so you have to type 150 millimeter right? then you can um, close the pattern with the line you can close the pattern with a line something like this you can follow this step using line you can complete the pattern then you can see the result and you have to push it down until it touch the bottom of the cabinet or the bottom of the bookcase okay and then you have to make it group then you can uh, push it more and on the life on the left side also you can push it more and after that you can um, make uh, some variation of the self of, of this uh, bookcase anyway you can add more um, variation anyway you can you can offset it you can offset this single line only in uh, in inside you can offset it's around 15 millimeter and then you have to you can push it up to make a some various of the profile and also you can make it um, you can make uh, the upper object with uh, another profile something like this you can just click this uh, single line and then you can select a copy and then you can um, paste into place so you can see the the original position of the line so you so it make can make you easy to modify this profile okay and then you have to offset it outside it's around uh, with the distance that as you desire is around uh, 20 millimeter right then you can complete the, the pattern basic pattern you can complete the basic pattern with the line anyway something like this Okay, and then you can push it down it's around 20 millimeter okay. and after that you can um, make it component you can make it component and then you can push um, sorry and then you can just click this object and press move and press control okay so it would be duplicate automatically and then um, you can make a uh, continuing you can continuing the pattern with the line so we we are gonna try the you can you can select the plane and then you can select copy and then just exit from the group and then you can paste in place and after that you just select this line and just select follow me and just select this plane so it will be automatically follow the path anyway then you have to make it component then just create it okay and then you have to duplicate it by select move and press control in the bottom of the object and then you can make it group again and then you can move it to the right side and don't forget to flip it along with a red axis anyway so you can um, make this approach to appropriate position right okay and after that um, maybe you can continue this profile to the bottom position of the bookcase anyway something like this so it can make you can make uh, it more detail of the profile and and also you can make a uh, another profile in this area anyway so you can complete this profile to this area by select the move gain 
and just press control just um, position on it anyway okay you see the different then before absolutely and then <clears throat> and after that you can make um, some variation of the ceiling and and of floor to make it more representative object of sketch up okay, you can make a push it up of the ceiling and then you can duplicate it to the bottom of the floor anyway something like this okay. so it can make it more uh, representative design anyway and then you can um, delete some unnecessary object right here just uh, select all this object by triple click the object and it will be automatically selected the all of component this object and just right click and erase it so it will be disappear anymore okay and after that you can make a material with a representative material you can use a formica laminated light to make it more representative anyway first of all you have to you can um, just assign it with uh, the same material and then you can look after the bookcase is already finished with the all of material okay and and this is the curvy bookcase I'm sorry it um, let's forget to assign a material okay and then you can um, make you can you, you can make a book illustration anyway in this each of the bookcase area with uh, some with uh, any size of the book it's only uh, it's only uh, how to make it more representative than um, empty self look as before okay you can see you can see it and then you can uh, duplicate it you can duplicate it again and and you can duplicate more and you can um, make a jumble arrangement right this then you have to make it group anyway or you can make it component and just create it and then you can uh, rotate it rotate this to the <coughs> appropriate position right you can um, position it on it and then you can uh, rotate this you can rotate this um, bookcase you, know, you can you can rotate this book and uh, make it uh, parallel with a blue axis so you can just rotate it with the rotate tool and just uh, wait for um, you can um, position on it without the click and you can see the midpoint of the circle anyway so you can position on it until it will appear center in component right and then you can uh, position on this hook anyway then you can rotate it to another position with the count of the book as you want right maybe you can um, select this select this uh, rotation anyway maybe you can select this rotation and just press X 9 for example so you can see the arrangement right and then you can erase for the upper position of the book right and after that you can um, make it group make it all of two one group and just make it group and then you can um, move and then you can press control and then you can um, sorry you can position to the above and the above until it would be fully filled with a, a lot of book, book arrangement right and if you want to make um, it more colorful you can just assign with a different color 
of the book itself you may use uh, the color in this uh, material and select just select the color and then you can um, select uh, any color like like this you can for example you can uh, select the color m05 right then you can just select the book as you want to modify so it will make the different or you can select the another colorful maybe you can select the red red material or the maybe you can uh, cyan material and yellow something like this and then you can um, see the different of the book okay maybe it, it's look like more representative enough in this uh, curve bookcase and uh, decoration of the book anyway maybe something like this um i'm sorry i'm sorry uh i i mean this is uh, this just wall design anyway, you can you can uh adjust the material by using this credit stucco white because this is only uh this is only a uh, wall anyway then you can um make it, it different and then you can uh, make the extension of the wall with a horizontal wall with um, 150 millimeter of the wall thickness right here so you can so you can continue it and then you can uh, move it and press control to duplicate it okay okay and then you can uh, just make it uh, wall material or you can extend it more and you can extend the left side more also and of, of absolutely you can also extend the ceiling to the left to the right side more anyway then and after that you can make a different backsplash of this uh, bookcase with another material you can use uh, synthetic surface and then you can use a formica blue for example something like this now and you can see the more energetic uh, more energetic curvy bookcase on the wall anyway okay i mean uh, it's my tutorial in this video i would like uh, i hope all of you get us a lot of advantage that which is it will be make um, easier for your work and it will be improved for your skill to modeling this um, semi complex complex interior furniture right and thanks for watching and uh, wait for my next video tutorial in SketchUp thank you